In Tasmania, potatoes fit within a farming system. That means that each farmer or landowner grows several other crops and it has other uses for the land because potatoes should only be grown on the same land once in every five or seven years. So that means that the series of crops, the, the series of events that happen before the potato crops are very important. It has implications on disease control and soil structure and weeds and a number of other things. So each potato farmer knows his own land. There is heavy red soils, there's light sands, there's loams. There's a whole range of soils and there's also a whole range of options for, for farmers what they're going to do with that soil. And so quite often they'll think three or four or five years out about a field, what are they going to do to it before that they start preparing for potatoes. We've actually turned you know, thousand dollar acre country into three or four thousand dollar acre country by growing potatoes, more high input crops. What these do is get the stones and the wood because it's all timber. I mean, we just do the surface, so we've actually gone down 12, 14 inches now. So in future, it'll it's opened it up for potato crops, poppy crops, and it's tripled the value of the land. Potatoes need deep, friable soil because their roots go down 60 or even 90 centimetres underneath the surface. It's also important to get good tuber shape if the soil is loose and at harvest time they're not big clods. And the preparation of the soil to achieve that involves a large number of implements. Back in the old days they would often start preparation in autumn and they'd mould board the, the country which is a plough that turns the soil upside down and they'd leave it sit over the winter and then they'd start working it up again in the spring. With modern technology, they quite often use the soil right up until two weeks before they're due to the plant the crop. And using um, new equipment, including a, a new device called a de-stoning machine, they can get the soil ready to plant in only two or three weeks. The future of potato growing in Tasmania for Simplot is going to involve a lot of variable rate farming technology. That means that we're going to map the soils, we're going to use GPS technology and we're going to actually change the management of each small parcel of land to match the soil type. It in involves uh, varying fertiliser rates, it involves varying the cultivation technique to match that soil type. In the end we've got to be gentle on the soil, we've got to look after it, we've got to maintain it for the future.